When he told me that it was, that the test came back as a malignant growth, and it was actually breast cancer, um, I think the first words out of my mouth were, well, there goes my hair. Because at the time I had waist length hair and I'd been growing it out forever. And of all the things that I could have said or all the things that I could have thought of, the first thing that came to me was that now I'm going to lose my waist length hair. At first there was a lot of detachment after the diagnosis. Um, there was about six days between, seven days between when they first told me, you have breast cancer and when I had a mastectomy. And of course we went home the first evening and my parents called all our relatives and they cried and um, I still just couldn't relate to the idea that there was this foreign something growing in me that if they didn't stop it um, was, you know, really on a path to, to destruction. Um, and I said to my mother at one point, my father was on the phone with my grandmother, and I turned to my mother and I said, I really just can't wrap my mind around the fact that I have cancer. And she looked at me and she said, well, you're just detached. You're really just, you, know, you need to, some time to get used to it. And I laughed, thinking about the mastectomy I was going to have in a week. And I said, detached? Give me another week, then I'll really be detached from it. 